This is Ron, Garage Aquatics 2023. Hello, tank mates. So I'm cleaning up some Java fern that I have and some others. I had some algae problems in another tank. So I pulled these all out and uh, from, from that algae prone tank and put them in another tank with water. And I kept dosing hydrogen peroxide. The algae's all dead. It was that nasty green hair algae. Uh, this Java fern, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, Java fern grows by rhizomes. Okay, and a rhizome is a modified stem. All right, and each place a leaf comes off a stem is called a node. And theoretically, you can get a branch at a node. So if I cut this, and you can see it's also directional. So I'm holding on the, the end where the new growth would be. Uh, if you look at the way the leaves come off the stem, they're kind of curving towards my left, towards my hand. And where that leaf base meets the um, meets the rhizome or the modified stem, there would be a bud there, a vegetative bud that can and ultimately will start another branch. And you can see on the underside of this rhizome how it's branched. In fact, it's branched a couple times. The original uh, part of the stem is where my little finger is here and then it's grown off towards the left and then branched there and then branched again there. And the part that I'm holding on to over here with my thumb and, and index finger is still part of the initial stem back here. Um, so remember, ferns are uh, uh, their own class of plants. Ferns do not reproduce uh, by flower or seed. They reproduce by spores, and occasionally you'll see uh, the the sori uh, on the underside of the leaves. Uh, that's not what's going on right on this leaf. That's uh, that leaf's just I don't know what causes that if it's a bacterial infection or what, but it, they start to die off. But then very often what you'll see on these older fronds is something like this. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but that's a leaf I'm holding on to right there. Okay, and on the leaf are a load of whole new plantlets. And you see, they, they start from the underside of the leaf. In, in an aquatic plant, uh, the spores, they were spores there, and the spores actually go through a whole germination process and uh, make their little, little plantlets, and they attach, and eventually they will detach, and you'll get a bunch of these, right here. Here's a really little one, right? And they grow. And uh, they will keep going and make some nice clumps. I, I've been pulling these apart in this bucket here, just to make just to make more. And I'll just float them in a, in a farm tank I have. It's a nice big long rhizome. It's one I separated out of a clump of rhizomes. That's kind of what I'm talking about. And it'll just keep growing. It's growing from right to left. This is the newer end here. And uh, there's another nice one. And since they're they're aquatic and they float and they don't anchor into the substrate, um, unless you've got kind of a high nitrate uh, issue in your, well, it's not really an issue if it, unless it gets too high, uh, higher nitrates, they're gonna need some sort of fertilizer. So you're gonna probably wanna use, and this is just, my thought probably I want to use some sort of uh, liquid fertilizer that you can add in suspension. Uh, if you glue these, and that's not uncommon, a little super glue, and, and uh, a lot of times the gel works best to a piece of uh, driftwood or also to a, a, a rock and set that near the substrate, uh, they'll send out these, uh, these, they're called adventitious roots because. Uh, these are not roots that form below, below a, the crown of a plant. These are roots that are actually forming off of a stem, a modified stem. So they're referred to as adventitious roots. Um, and they will actually anchor down into the substrate then, and then they will feed out of what's in the substrate. And you can even throw root tabs under them at, at that point. But when they're you know up on a piece of driftwood or uh, uh, up on a rock that's perched high above um, the substrate, they're going to need some nutrients in the water column. Here's one 
that's a nice piece right there. That's uh, uh, yeah, it's got some needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I've had stuff growing over these and that didn't do them any good. So now they're getting a little more light, but you can see how that rhizome is trailing and this one's coming off, growing towards the right. So we're looking at the underside of the leaves or the fronds uh, and it's continuing off to the right. Okay, and there it's branched back there. All right, so we can pull this apart and make more or just let it do its thing. And there you can see some new fronds. I'm gonna stick something in there to point to the tail end of this algae scraper here. Uh, right here, right? Um, and there's another one right here. And they got the little curl, curl on the end. Uh, it's like a little a fiddlehead, you know, the head of a violin. And that's what they're called, fiddleheads. Um, so anyway, just a little bit of fern lore. Thought maybe you might find it interesting. Easily propagated. Uh, all my, my Java ferns, I think I bought three or four, started in those plastic tubes. They've got a couple sizes. There's like a smaller size and a big size. The smaller size is the better value. At PetSmart, the, I think it's called, uh, is it TrueFin? Uh, that's their brand. And they're in these, uh, 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 like, almost like gelled gravel. And that's the stuff they use to put in the ground when they plant plants, uh, holds moisture. Uh, they'll use that, you know, especially in more arid locations. Keeps water in the root zone. Uh, but that's what they use for these because it keeps moisture in the root zone. They toss that. I save it and use it in the in the garden. Um, but uh, so this is how I've been buying all of my epiphyte ferns or epiphytic ferns, ferns that live on something as opposed to being planted in the substrate. You can see this little windy love right here, Java fern, uh, windy love Java fern, and. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, here we go. And it's on a rock. And then back here, there are more of the narrow leaf java ferns on rock and on wood. And I just use super glue to do that. So I typically get these things in these plastic tubes uh, at PetSmart. And I look, make sure uh, um, I get, uh, make sure they look, look good, like they're not, you know, dying off or whatever. Um, I already pulled the top, slid the top off of this one. There, it just slides right off. Never get it back on. Um, and they're packed in this gel. Now, this one, it's called, what is this one called? Uh, African water fern. So, for real, it's bulbitis. I, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. See if we can get that in there. Yeah, I'm not even going to go for that one right now. I'll work on it. So, and then they're packed in this little cup and it's taped. And had I have been thinking, I'd have got the scissors right here handy. There we are with the scissors. And then cut this free. You can cut it from a couple sides. I don't like, I could probably pull it right out, but I don't want to damage the roots. So gently tug it out. And they have bigger ones in this size, but I thought this should be pretty hardy. So I will attach it to a rock. I'll rinse it first and then in super glue gel to, a, to one of these little, little rocks. Okay. And then this stuff, it's, uh, there's this, this gel that they often use in landscaping um, and put it around the root ball when they plant new plants. We can just dump it in a, um, in a potted plant somewhere out in the landscape and it'll eventually just break down. And so I'm gonna open this one. This is Borneo Fern, um, Trichomanes. And I really like the texture on it. I don't know if I like the fern so much now. This one might need a pruning because it looks like I bought these before where they were rotting at the root and couldn't tell at the top yet. But I've got a couple of these 
these fronds are, are dead at the top, so I'm gonna prune these off. You take the whole frond off. Let me get it out of the cup first. There we go. Get that plastic off. And again, I'm just gonna go dump this in the landscape and then slide this cap off the top. And same, same. Now being an epiphyte, not a whole lot of root system, but there's it's a rhizome. So I'm gonna stick that to a rock also. But before I do, you can probably see that frond, it's burnt, it's even got a little mold on it. So instead of cutting the whole thing off, I'm just gonna get down between some of the little leaflets here and just trim it out at the midrib. Um, I could even give this uh, like a 10% solution of bleach in water for about 10 minutes to kill any bacteria or fungus that might be an issue. Uh, but that's that's kind of how I've been going about these ferns. This was the only one they had. I wish they would have had a nicer one, but I think it'll be all right. And if it's not, I will run it back to PetSmart and rattle their cage. I'm gonna cut this whole frond off here. Try not to do any damage to the rhizomes. There we go. And that's kind of the way that one is. These, I don't know, I, I think I started with three, maybe four, and all my java fern came from those. They, they just keep, they're the gift that keeps on giving. They are really fun. Uh, one of my favorite plants, in fact. Here's one that's planted in the substrate. And then I got, these are really, I got a lot of algae going on in these and I got to figure out what's going on so I can clean these up. But there's another one that's, it's planted on, on that little, little pebble. Another one back here. And the shrimp kind of chew on them. And also the plecos, the plecosauruses, they chew on them. Um, and the autosynclus chew on them. You know, all the algae, they get, and it goes, it, it tears the leaves apart too. But yeah, you know, they're, they're still doing their job and I still love them. I've got some nice ones uh, in the in, in other tanks. One in the back here is looking pretty good. Yeah, uh, Garage Aquatics, yep. Yeah. Uh, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. And thanks for watching.